सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ पेट्रोलियम फ्रॉम स्क्रैच आई एम जयेश चार एंड दिस इज पेट्रोलियम डेटा एनालिटिक्स एंड मशीन लर्निंग प्ले लिस्ट सो दिस वीडियो मार्क्स दिस स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट ऑफ अवर जनरल इन लर्निंग डेटा एनालिसिस एंड मशीन लर्निंग सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑफ दिस प्ले लिस्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द रोड मैप फॉर बिकमिंग अट्रोलियम पेट्रोलियम डेटा एनालिटिक्स इंजीनियर्स so first of all i am ex expecting that all of you know basic python if you don't know basic python please go and watch our python for oil and gas playlist that will be really helpful as we are going to use a lot of python in this playlist also basic core python knowledge we are going to use here so now we will be going to start with python libraries that will be used in our journey toward data analysis so the very first library is numpy numpy is a very important topic very important library of python and you will be going to use it every day in your entire career as a data scientist or data analyst so first of all what is numpy what the numpy name stands for numpy is, is basically standing for numerical python so in the core python in core python coding there were some mathematical and scientific operations that were not available during the uh, making of the python uh, python language so those mathematical and scientific operations are therefore uh, therefore coded in python and that that were named as numpy so yeah so basically numpy is a very fast very fast library why it is fast because it is written on a c language c libraries so c and c++ language has a direct contact with the computer language that that's why uh, using those languages they are really fast languages compared to python and any other language or java so using numpy operations help in our computational efficiency that will increase improve the speed of your computation and also the memory required for operating uh, for operating a numpy operation is also less so and so entire mathematical package of Mat matlab is coded in python and that is named as numpy so basically numpy is used for uh, doing the data manipulations of arrays and matrices arrays and matrices we are going to use a lot of them uh, and their operations in moving forward for deep learning as well as in machine learning whether it is scikit learn whether it is tensorflow or open computer vision everywhere we will we will need to deal with arrays so yeah so yeah as i have discussed earlier in matlab framework they used the array calculation and matrix calculation and also the matlab was the first framework where they where they used the deep learning training models or neural networks after that python come into role and as you know the as now in today time you can see that the popularity of python has increased a lot because of only this method then because of only this reason that we have a certain number of modules or libraries that we use for performing different different operations so yeah so starting with the numpy so first of all the first step uh, first step will be our importing the numpy library or you can say numpy is a superpower of python so we are going to import numpy as np np is nothing but alias for numpy as while performing different operations in further coming rows we are not going to use we are not going to write numpy at every stage so we will write a small name np so yeah so i have imported numpy here after that we will we are we will be discussing numpy arrays numpy arrays are data structures just like list data storing structures just like list the only difference between a numpy array and a list is that numpy array are way much faster than the list up to 50 times more faster than the list and also this takes lesser space than the list so in our last video you have seen the project of nodal analysis we have used a list in making the plots by matplotlib so if in that case if we have used numpy arrays our computational speed has been increased so in everywhere because in coming days we will, when we will be discussing machine learning or deep learning projects we we are going to deal with a, a huge data sets for and for huge data sets if we store those huge data sets in list that will cost us with uh, high space storage as well as high computational time that's why numpy arrays will be used so yeah now we will see how to create a numpy array so 
our first step is creating a numpy array from a python list here you can see there is a list that is stored in variable a containing 1 2 3 4 5 so simply we we have to do nothing just write np dot array and give a input of the list list name as list is stored in variable a so i called np dot array and uh, given a as an input in this np dot array and stored that array in variable arr so when i am going to call arr you can see that i have called the array so this has converted our list into a numpy array and when i am going to type when i am going to check the type of my in this arr variable it will be going to return me numpy dot nd array so ND array here, ND stands for N dimension. As our arrays are going to having multiple dimensions that we will be discussing later on, uh, but uh, still, uh, but now focus on these things only. So yeah, uh, so my next step will be creating uh, NumPy arrays from tuples. So here we have created the NumPy array from Python list. Now I'm going to create NumPy arrays from tuples. Again, same method, I would uh, define the uh, defined the variable that is storing tuple one, two, three, four, five. And after that, by using np.array and giving input as t and storing it in a variable arr, I have created this tuple. I have converted this tuple into a numpy array. And when you are going to see what is the type of this t, what we what is this type of t? It will going to give me a tuple. And when when we check the type of arr it will be going to give me numpy dot nd array now uh, adding on here one more thing we can also convert back these arrays into list so for example uh, if i am going to write uh, as we know arr is type of array so if i am going to write lis is equal to list and giving input as arr so yeah and if i uh, if i print my if i call my LIS, you, you can see that it has given me an output of a list. And if you, you check the type of this LIS, it will be going to give us that, okay, LIS is my list type. So yeah, that's all for this video. In, in the next video, we'll, we will be going to discuss the end dimensions of the NumPy array and how we can use those dimensions or how we can store data in multiple dimensions. And also we will start with matrices. So thank you, have a good day.